Let's perform the indicated operation, and here we have multiplication, multiplication, so we'll simply multiply these three fractions. Remember, with multiplication, order doesn't matter, so I can simply say that this is numerator times numerator times numerator, so that's 3 times 16 times 4 over denominator times denominator times denominator. Denominator times denominator times denominator. Now before we actually do all of this multiplication in the numerator and denominator, let's look for common factors. I know 4 and 8 have a common factor of 4, or as a matter of fact, 4 and 6 have a common factor of 2. It makes no difference how you see this, but I do notice that 11 has no common factor, 3 is a prime, and it has a common factor with 6. So let's do the following to be safe. Let's write every number as a product of primes to make sure I don't miss any common factors. So that's 3 times 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. Do you have to do it this way, all the way down to primes? Absolutely not, but I'm just going to be safe here. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, and 6 is 2 times 3, and then I have 11. And now I can see every single common factor that there is. There's obviously a common factor of 3, and then how many common factors of 2 do we have? I've got 4 down here and 6 up there, so I know I have a common factor once, twice, three times, and four times two is a common factor. So what do we have left? Let's just finish this. One times one times one times one times one, we know that's one, times two times two, so that's four over, one times one times one times one times one again, times 11, so that's 11. And that is my product, and I know it's in simplest form.